see. Hi, everyone. Welcome in for Mighty Buildings live factory tour. I know you could hear some noises. There's some <laughs> maintenance and construction going on, but hopefully it's not going to you know, affect our live stream today. So I see Jay Lopez was asking how, how are we doing? Doing great. <laughs> how are you, Jay? Tell us what brought you here. The type was a quick <laughs> response. <laughs> I guess, yeah, we'll wait a couple of minutes and yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get started. But yeah, just so um, you guys know, um, since you know it is a webinar session, please post your questions in the Q&A session. Um, it's easier for us to go over the questions this way. So we could click that we you know, answered and we will try to respond to you know, every questions or request you have and um, or on chat, but yeah, Q&A session is better. So please use that feature, yeah. All right. Okay, Jay, awesome, interested in seeing the factory. Okay, someone is from Washington. Yeah, if you guys actually could let us know where you um, are joining from, so we know our audience, because um, we are located um, in Oakland, California, um, you know, across the bridge from San Francisco. And then we do have um, various showrooms um, in, um, where in Los Angeles, in Del Mar, we just opened our new um, location in Napa. Um, so yeah, let us know where you're at and hopefully we'll try to get you for a tour. Okay, I see Vacaville. We actually do have a project in Vacaville, Fremont, go the Bay Area, <laughs> Los Angeles. Ooh, someone is 45 minutes east of Napa, perfect. Yeah, we just opened up on the parking lot of uh, Marriott um, in Napa. Yeah, you could go on our website. You could actually see all the various locations that, yeah, that we have. Fontana, I was just speaking to someone in Fontana. We have a property there, so perfect. All right, Helen, shall we get started probably? Yes, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it, all right. Um, so welcome everyone to our live uh, factory tour um, to Mighty Buildings um, Factory. It's about 75,000 square feet facility um, in Oakland, California, as I already said. We are open for tours if someone would like to see, you know, the, the factory in person, but we wanted to bring you first online, answer any questions, and then, you know, see where it goes. So I'm filming from actually a Behind me, there is a giant, you know, 3D printer. And let me turn my camera. Yeah, let's go. Let's go see. Right, you guys could see. It. So this is one of the largest 3D printers in the world. And it was developed by Mighty Buildings um, using our proprietary patents and technology. So what it is, it's essentially over 45 feet high giant gantry system and what comes out of this 3d printer is either panels and building components or the entire building so we get asked a lot of questions like what exactly was um you know how it's been built is it purchased somewhere is it custom made so we purchased all the various components from various countries and cities and we put together this entire system ourselves. So a lot of components are actually custom made. Um, so we didn't purchase it from anyone. And by the way, we are not in the business of selling printers, but this is something that we are proprietary developing to build houses. And so my goal today is to show you the houses that were 3D printed. So let me get out of this, <laughs> this room and here one of the structures that was fully 3D printed and that's the video you know, the famous video we have on our YouTube, it's approximately, it was approximately done in 24 hours. So this is a um, entirely 3D printed shell. So the material that we use is also proprietary material. 
It's a combination of minerals and acrylic photopolymers. Essentially, if you can imagine it's a light stone material, it's a synthetic stone. So it's more, um, it's, I mean, water resistant, it's fire resistant, um, to, resistant to any other, you know, environmental factors as well. And I mean, it's patented our, under our name. Um, but what's probably the coolest part about what we do, and I'm gonna walk around, you know, the unit is that the material was certified by underwriters laboratories. So each, each panel that we produce, first of all, uh, the 3D printer goes in layers and each layer is four millimeters. And then it cures under UV light instantly. And then we come in and classify and certify each building panel um, that we created. So in the first iteration, although I did show you the structure that entirely 3D printed, one of the components that is printed is this you know, structural wall panel and it's filled with foam for greater um, insulation. And the R value on the six inch wall panel actually is over 25. So the buildings are very, um, you see the building in the very early stage before it gets assembled. You see a lot of steel. So that's the very first model that we developed. Yes, we did use a lot of steel to make sure that the building would be earthquake compliant. And actually the earthquake rating exceeds 9.0 on this specific steel structure. So the first models that we developed, they do have 3D printed components and that's a huge um, kind of breakthrough in the 3D printing space that, you know, one of its kind, the 3D printed, you know, wall panel was incorporated into the building and we started, you know, shipping and installing these units and people started living in them. Um, but yeah, I guess um, enough of the core. So, you know, I'm gonna show you one of our buildings that is about to get delivered to a client. And yeah, let's uh, get inside one of them. So the way they are delivered to the site are in two modules. So each module is approximately 14 feet wide and 25 feet. Uh, feet long. And then the height of the building is approximately um, 11 foot. So the ceiling is about eight foot inside. So yeah, let's, let's come in. So we did furnish the unit so you could imagine how the interior would look. So right now I am inside a 700 square feet unit, uh, 25 feet by 28 feet that comes with the kitchen and bathroom, and it's a two bedroom unit. Each bedroom is approximately 120 square feet. It's 10 by 12. And you could see actually the gap in between two modules because they would be delivered separately, but we'll get and talk about it, you know, a little later. So one room would have a beautiful and very big closet with a lot of storage space and then this bedroom has one window that is operable and then it easily fits the queen size bed. Um, yeah, and uh, it's a decent size, you know, bigger than the average room in San Francisco, I would say. And then, yeah, the same, the second bedroom is approximately the same size and we were just in there. So every unit comes with a um, mini split system. So it's uh, heating, ventilation, air conditioning. Currently, this model has um, in ceiling built um, mini split. And then here's the kitchen space. So first of all, yeah, let me show you the look and the windows. So one of the key advantages of sort of this model is how much um, natural light you could get while having it in the backyard and we all in California love, you know, the outdoorsy, you know, activities and outdoorsy space. So this would just, um, you know, enlighten and lighten up the rooms by having a lot of natural light. So when it comes to the kitchen, um, probably one of the spaces, you know, we spend a lot of time is, so our kitchens are pretty compact. So the only part that is currently missing, but it gets installed inside is the refrigerator. It's 10 cubic feet. You know, it's a medium sized refrigerator. Um, moreover, the units come also with the cooktops. So we use 
um, induction cooktops, and most of our buildings are actually fully electric. We could do a gas powered water heater, but that's about it. We prefer, you know, fully electric units as the entire state of California sort of moving that route right now. So each unit comes with the dishwasher. Uh, we provide a couple of designs for sinks. Um, they usually, you know, kind of flush with the backsplash. This is was pretty, you know, unique sink on a smaller um, size that we developed. And each unit, sorry, each unit comes also with the microwave. Um, out of the customization options, we actually offer different colors for the upper. Um, the wall mounting cabinetry and the floor standing cabinetry as well. So color choices plus the texture, you could choose gloss or matte. Then other color choices for the interior finishes would be flooring. Uh, we use LVP, luxury vinyl planks, um, uh, water resistant and scratch resistant as well. Um, we work with various suppliers, but yeah, we provide um, you know over 10 color choices as well. So all units come with furnished, um, I mean, interior finishes and appliances in the bathroom as well. Um, we install inside the washer and dryer units. They are both LG. Um, the units come with the tile. One second, you guys could see it. Kind of a grayish color matching the, the cabinetry here as well. Um, there will be a recessed lighting in the unit because there is a curve on the exterior. So there would be a lighting strip over there at the top. So the units currently are equipped with a shower. You could see two, yeah, two shower heads. And then we do have a little sitting area in built right here. So each unit comes with the kind of well-mounted toilet and then the sink and we have a medicine cabinet as well. And medicine cabinet has, you know, additional lights on each side. Yeah, so let me try to give you a better overview of the entire kitchen space, oh, sorry, bathroom space. It's very spacious. A lot of people complain that it's kind of too big, but honestly, it's it's a great size, it's a great size bathroom. All right, um, trying to think what else I did not mention. Um, I guess let's um, kind of go outside and I'll try to give a better picture from, of the exterior, how it looks like. So a lot of glass, a lot of windows again. And so the unit is fully equipped already with mechanical, electrical and plumbing. So all the hookups would be in one spot. So what needs to happen on site only is the unit would get connected to the foundation. Foundation would be approximately eight to 12 inches on the ground, depending on your site. And then electrical panel would be already there. So you just need to connect, one second, you just need to connect water, electrical, sewer, maybe gas. Um, if um, you decide to go with the gas powered water heater, yeah, but um, that's about it. Everything else is ready. And typically Mighty Buildings would take care of the utilities and foundation. So we would do all the site work. Moreover, we would also get you the permits. And I guess this is something I forgot to show, but the buildings were already pre-approved by the state of California, which means um, we will not have any permitting issues. And this is the stamp that we received from Department of Housing and Community Development, HCD, um, that, you know, provides, you know, serves as a proof that the local inspector would not have to inspect the building. Um, neither of the framing, so the units are getting inspected in the factory. And again, they are pre-approved by the entire, for the, the entire state of California. We, by the way, have different choices um, for the siding. Um, this is an example of a caramel color um, fiber cement material. And usually the, the curvature and the shell is um, white, but we do have um, other options. And um, I'm happy to follow up with the a brochure where we show different colors, but um, let me show you one of the units that has actually 
kind of grayish or bluish, like very contrasty sliding. Oh, here it is. This is one of the examples. It's kind of, I don't even know what a color it is. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of darkish blue and it has very amazing texture. By the way, for the windows, we use Anderson. Uh, Anderson windows that come with 20 years warranty. Um, for the buildings, we provide a 10 year warranty in general. Um, yeah, so we have multiple floor plans for the modular product. Again, I walked you through a 700 square feet, two bedroom, one bath, uh, but the same unit could come in a one bedroom configuration. So if you prefer to go with the one bedroom, or if your client prefers to go with the one bedroom, I'll show you a floor plan. It will be slightly different floor plan. We do have a studio size. Studio size would only have a bathroom, kitchen, and just the living space, which I showed already. So the one bedroom would have the same living space, bathroom space, huge bedroom, 200 square feet, huge walk-in closet, the size of the bathroom. And we were just inside the two bedroom, one bathroom model that we just walked through. Um, each model has um, different pricing and happy to share the price list. Um, but we do have bigger models because we noticed that, um, I mean, in general, um, in the state of California, the ADU could be up to 1200 square feet. So one of our most popular floor plans is actually a two bedroom, two bathroom model. Two bedroom, two bathroom, huge living space. It's 1176 um, six square feet um, unit. It's 24 feet by 49. And we have a smaller version with one bedroom of 864 square feet as well, but that's two one. Um, the, that unit would look completely different. Um, and yes, let me show you it in, uh, show you at least the corner of the building in person. So let's take a look. We could see it from here a little bit over there corner. So yeah, let's walk, let's walk into it. And by the way, uh, we started as an ADU company, but as of right now, we are actually offering, you know, single family homes as well. Our biggest single family home for now is the three bedroom, two bath. And so here's the, the corner. Uh, we just started building a new prototype and we'll um, send out an announcement once it's ready, but that's a foundation pour for a two bedroom, two bath, 1200 square feet um, product that we have, the Mighty House Quattro. So here's the corner of that Quattro that was built um, you know, about six months ago. So you could see all this texture. It was actually designed in collaboration with an architectural firm from Los Angeles, EYRC. Um, I don't know what you could see on the camera, but it's very, there is a texture because the printer went layer by layer and printed the entire thing, the entire wall panel. And then what happens on site is we are connecting those panels together. We install windows as well. It's a very cool looking building, but again, we only have the corner for now that I could show. <laughs> so a lot of people would ask like how panels get delivered, how they are connected. So here's an example of the panel connection. So they are all very well insulated with the PU foam inside. For now, there are steel connectors in between the panels. Mechanical, electrical, and plumbing would go like inside the panels in the chaseways. Yeah. But ideally, technology-wise, we are trying to get to our proprietary connection, which is our proprietary material between the panels. But we could talk more about it on the sort of in-person tour. So yeah, here's the... Yeah, we'll just walk through the corner, I guess. So we have a lot of materials in here, but yeah, I guess Helen, maybe, um, I mean, I could go show different things, but yeah, let's maybe take a look at the questions and see what people actually, you know, looking, what kind of information they're looking for. Yeah, so let's start with um, many questions they're asking. Can, uh -huh. yeah. 
can we um, can we use this ADU as a primary residence? Um, so I'm trying to understand, can we use the model um, that we call ADU for a primary residence? Correct. If that's the question, yes. Um, we would have to just research um, the specific jurisdiction you're in and make sure that they do not have a minimum requirement for a primary residence. Because if they do have a minimum requirement, we wanna make sure that 700 square feet would not be a problem. So if the jurisdiction does not have any minimum requirements or they are lower than 700 square feet, that you should be fine. Um, and yes, actually in Joshua Tree, we are working on a primary residence that is a two bedroom, one bathroom, this model that we just walked through. So there's another question. Um, how much does this unit cost? Um, because on our website, it says, you know, starting prices is at X you know, number. So uh -huh. can you explain a bit better and how easy is it to get a permit installed in, in San Francisco? Totally. So yes, thanks for your question, guys. So we do have a pricing sheet that we could share um, in our brochure. So the building, the studio building starts at $115,000. Um, the one bedroom product is 159. And then the two bedroom one bath is 169. So typically the starting price um, for the two bedroom one bath is 265, but that price would include the site assessment, the permitting fees, getting the permits, foundation, um, utility connections, on-site labor, crane, general conditions, truck delivery and project management. Um, I mean, I don't know if you could see the, um, the video, probably not, but I'm happy to um, share with everyone, um, you know, the brochure. Cool, so um, there's mm -hmm. another question that's asking, mm -hmm. can we attach um, to solar? Um, so mm -hmm. they haven't installed solar yet, but might do in tandem. Yeah, so, the, all units that we are producing are actually solar ready. And that's one of the requirements from the state of California for all new construction. Um, it must be solar ready. So any unit could have solar panels and essentially you could pick a provider, uh, but we do have partner Sunflare that we typically use. So um, it would be up to you. So, and the other question is, are there any water heater and air conditioning that comes with the unit? Yes, um, as I explained, and I'm happy to show once again. So the modular product, it comes with the um, mini split system. It's in built in the ceiling um, in each room, the living room, and then the one bedroom and then the second bedroom, the first and second bedroom also have those mini split systems. So yeah, that's heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Um, again, in modular product, it's mini split. Um, in the bigger houses, that's a regular ducting, ducting system. Uh, when it comes to the water heater, we have two options, either gas powered water heater, tankless and on demand, or hybrid electric. So hybrid electric water heaters would be required for the cities that have um, opted out of gas. So we would have to use in some jurisdictions only electric solutions. So we do have sort of both of these options. So adding to that, um, mm -hmm. there's a question that, that's asking, mm -hmm. uh, we, what kind of appliances manufacturers do we use? Um, so yeah, we use LG um, for the washer and dryer, and then the induction cooktop is Summit. So it's pretty kind of standard appliances, standard brands. Microwave is Samsung, and then, yeah, um, it was hard to find this mini cute dish, dishwasher. So the type of brand is gallons, gallons. I'm not sure if you guys can see. Yeah. So another question, uh, can we hang mirrors or you know punch a nail on the wall? How does that Totally. Work? Look, <laughs> the best example is the real example. <laughs> you can penetrate the walls, yes. Uh, so we have pictures hanging, we have um, mirrors. There's another mirror, there could be TV connected here, more pictures. So yes, totally. You guys so could do, yeah. Just in addition to that, is the water heater tankless? Um, yes, the water heater um, is tankless on demand for 
one bedroom, one bath, two bedroom, one bath, and for a studio as well. Got it. So um, there's many questions that's actually asking, can we build a second or third floor in these buildings um, or two um, story? So all our units for now, as of today, um, they are actually one story, but we are looking to um, develop a two to three story product in the next year. Um, so we will be launching the product in about 12 months. So that's definitely the plan. Yeah. Got it. So another question mm -hmm. is, um, does the toilet work with city sewer or septic? Is it compostable or incinerating an option? Yeah, so the toilets are not, compost not, not compostable. They work either with the city sewer or uh, septic. Yeah, so what we essentially do when it comes to, honestly, it, it, it doesn't matter what type you want to um, add because you can just connect the I mean, the unit to any type of the utility connections that you want, because whatever in the structure, it's already pre-built. So whatever is on site, you just have to do it properly. Um, yeah, for ADUs, we usually connect them to the main residence. Uh, but when it comes to single family homes, it's it just depends on the property and what requirements are. But they work with, yeah, with multiple designs. Cool. And then uh, we have another question. Do we offer mm -hmm. services outside of California and are we pre-approved in other states? So for now, we're only pre-approved in California, but we are starting to offer services in other states. I guess, um, yeah, so the only difference would be the shipping cost for the product. And they typically say once you are pre-approved in California, you could go to any other states. So we would love to know what state are you guys interested in shipping the building? We could give you a quote and then we could explore um, the building code compliance. Um, but I think, yeah, we should be good to go to any other state. Got it. Um, another question mm -hmm. is, would you be able to add an EV outlet and storage battery? Um, yes, for, um, yeah, I think that's just on-site operation. So the EV storage and the battery definitely could be added to the package um, as, as an upgrade. And then um, what is the total usable square foot? Are there any window shades or treatment as well? Um, no, window shades and window treatment would have to be purchased um, separately. Um, yeah, so that's the answer number one. And then what was the first one, Helen? Can you repeat that? The question? Yeah, and um, what's the usable um, square foot for? Oh, the usable square footage, yeah. Um, so. 700 square feet is the footprint. Um, that's a correct um, understanding. So usable square footage is approximately um, 600 square feet. I think we are losing a little bit of the, um, the footprint with the closets um, and just how thick the, the walls are. We have a great question. So there's a question mm -hmm. from Chris asking, um, if I build, mm -hmm. if I need to build a few homes out of the country and the road, you know, to get to the property is windy, mm -hmm. does delivery mm -hmm. have to happen with the full unit or can it be delivered in pieces that will fit on a smaller truck? Not a white yes. look kind of like delivery. Yeah. So the bigger units that are starting from two bedroom, one bath, and let me show that again. One second. Yeah, the bigger units, uh, this is the design. Yeah, so the two bedroom, one bath, two bedroom, two bath, and three bedroom, two bath, they all come in pieces. In fact, those are the panels. They come in panels and panels get assembled on site. So yes, um, they could be shipped differently to different uh, locations. So in addition to that question, um, are there any traditional financing available for these units? Um, yes, um, because it's pre-approved by the state of California. Um, typically, our clients get cash out, refinance, or construction loan, or home equity line of credit, or private money to finance our structures. So they are no different from traditional homes when it comes to financing. We have contacts. So yeah, if someone is interested in getting the, the financing um, information, yeah, we, we'd be happy to follow up with that send email to you know info at mightybuildings.com what's the turnaround time from start to occupy yeah so the unit i'm currently in right now two bedroom one bath takes only four weeks to manufacture um so we would prepare foundation and um i mean and usually the unit would be manufactured before 
we even get your permit. So once we have a permit, we probably would take four to six weeks uh, for the on-site operation and then 60 days, um, which is um, eight weeks for the permitting process. So probably we would end up, um, probably we would end up total project time from signing a contract upon the installation within four months, four to six months, okay, just to be safe, yeah. So that would be the total turnaround. Got it. Cool, so um, I think there's just a few more questions. Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. So it's, yeah, so is the exterior easy to clean? Like, you know, might be stained by, you know, red dirt, splashes during rain and wind? Yes, so the exterior is very easy to clean, especially the siding. Um, because it's a fiber cement, it has a 15, you know, over 15 years warranty, but it's essentially cement and nothing could sort of happen to this material. It's, you could just power wash it. Um, the white part, the same. The white part. I think George posted a question, is Mighty Buildings classified as the manufactured home? Is that mm -hmm. correct? Correct. For home loan? And acquiring a problem. Um, Yes, um, that would be, I mean, in fact, HCD is modular homes, so we could specify that, um, but I think it would be classified under manufactured home program uh, just because it's coming out ready um, and we don't build it in phases, you know, with the typical construction, you would sort of have framing completed, contractor can get paid, another stage completed, contractor could get paid. Here we manufacture everything that already arrives uh, from the factory. So yes, it would be considered as uh, manufactured homes just for the loan. Um, just to share to you, George. Mm -hmm. um, so someone in the audience is actually getting a construction loan and you know they said modular is allowed. Thank yeah. you for sharing, Chris. Perfect. Yeah. Um, so there's also a few questions about how do you repair the wall if you make a hole in it or just say if a tree falls on it, what repair <laughs> can be done? <laughs> So um, most of the um, walls, um, the internal, the interior walls are uh, dry walls. So you could repair it easily. Any GC or general contractor could, you know, help you fix that. Um, when it comes to the 3D printed wall panel, material is actually reinforced with fiber. Um, I mean, we did some tests with the hammers and I mean, a lot of testing has been done and nothing happened to the material. So the only... Um, problem if the tree falls if it's a significant damage uh i mean mighty buildings would be or you know under the warranty uh we would help you fix that um but that would be sort of determined you know once it happens but you know great yeah so it doesn't I, happen. <laughs> yeah great so i we only have like two more um like two more questions left um uh -huh. so there's uh -huh. questions that can we customize um the unit you know like putting in glass door french doors instead of windows in the bedrooms um so french door sorry and in the bedrooms yeah can we windows? customize yeah the windows um so the windows right now in this models are not customizable and modules because it's been already um pre-approved it's the sliding door if you could see um so i think for the bigger models we also went with sliding so i think that's the only sort of disadvantage of the yeah, that's the sliding door. So the only disadvantage of the module product is that it is sort of all set. I mean, we could look into customization, but there might be additional fees involved in that process. So yeah, please, I mean, inquire on our website. We'd be happy to kind of engage and see if this is something that our team could be able to incorporate, but um, preferably it would be the sliding doors here. Got it. So I think like one last question, which is, um, it, are, you know, homeowners insurance the same mm -hmm. as traditional uh, manufactured homes? Um, the homeowners insurance is actually, I mean, it depends on the insurance provider. If it's an ADU, it would be an additional dwelling on the property. Um, but when it comes to the primary residence, if you use our unit as a primary home, no, there would actually be traditional, um, like standard home insurance would not be manufactured home insurance because um, once the unit is placed on the foundation it's no longer different from the fact that the unit is being delivered um, to the site 
Um, so it's not going to be different from traditional homes. So I'd say it's going to be a traditional homeowner's insurance and not the manufacturing home. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, we are getting a lot more. We have a lot more questions, but unfortunately, <laughs> we are running out of time. I would, um, this, this question is pretty interesting. Um, mm -hmm. So what's the difference with our homes? Is it more fire safe than a wood built home or is the same fire rating as a traditional house? Sorry, guys, I lost you for a second. Um, so yeah, no, I, uh, I heard the question. So the difference between, you know, mighty buildings and traditionally built homes, um, I mean, first of all, it's the quality of the materials. You know, once you build in the factory and build it up to the highest standard possible, I mean, there's a rigorous quality control for the units to be shipped out of the factory and less room for error. So quality of the materials is probably number one feature that sort of stands out. And yes, the bigger homes that have more 3D printed um, components and they're essentially the, the entire um, envelope of the building is 3D printed. Um, yeah, the material is, um, you know, fire resistant and, um, you know, it's more sustainable and we create less, you know, zero waste. Um, I mean, less waste in general, because the 3D printer essentially produces what needs to get produced. So that's one of the, probably the key value propositions. And it's faster, it's faster than stick build. Um, it's quick, you know, in the factory, it's quick assembly on site. So the time savings that you'll get from going sort of modular or panelized um, is significant. And the pre-approved building plans allow you to permit structures um, easily. Um, yeah, and reviews are typical when it comes to the building permit, like it's automatically pre-approved. We just need to submit foundation connections and utility connections, and that's it. Cool. Yeah, so I think we are running mm -hmm. out of time. So are we get a lot of questions. We are getting a lot of questions on like, you know, whether my my land is suitable. You know, how do I know? Um, yeah. You know. So, so can what's you, your advice? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Helen, if you could post the link from our website, we yeah. If you go to mightybuildings.com, there is a button called feasibility study. So everyone could um, submit their address. And per each location, our sales representative would be in touch with you um, to discuss um, what could be built, what models, um, and possibly if you're interested in getting a quote um, for the project, um, there is a deposit of $1,000 um, that we typically require for the research and for sending someone out to the site. Then we would bid out on the project for all the line items such as foundation, utilities, permits, you know, entitlements, um, crane truck delivery. So we would price that out and you would determine if this is within your budget and if you want to move forward. And usually for everyone who joins the webinar, we actually offer a 50% you know, discount on that um, site assessment that is usually $1,000, but it, you know, we could make it a $50% dis 50, uh, 50 discount for the folks who joined the webinar. But that's how to find out um, whether your property is suitable. There's a feature on the website again, feasibility study. Awesome. Yeah, I think that's all mm -hmm. for today. Great. Thank you guys for joining the, the live tour for Q&A. Um, we love your questions. Do not hesitate to contact us at info at mightybuildings.com or yeah, I'll give you my phone number, 650-431. 6026. Feel free to text me or call me. My name is Natalie. I'm, you know, head of sales in Mighty Buildings. So you've seen probably some videos of webinars already. But yeah, once again, the phone number is 650-431-6026. We'll send you out the recording and the link to the brochure and the link to, you know, the recording for the webinar and feasibility study. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Thank you everyone for coming, for joining.